Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. <clears throat> if you guys want to get a personal reading, as always, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my website. And yeah, you can book and get a reading same day or the next day. Uh, you don't have to wait super, super long. And um, yeah, welcome to Shonda, becoming a new member. We have Keith Butler, Missy Baby, Kimmy, I am Evie Love, Rocky Mills, Marge, Elaine Scarlatti, Christopher Wynn. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for becoming a part of the Virgo tribe. And let's get into your reading. Okay, so this is going to be for the remaining um, month of April into May. You have clock, knee time takes time in time cycles. You have butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. And... The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love. I knew that Narc Week was going to continue. Yeah, so um, it's just a matter of time before that Narc comes back into your life, Virgo. And here they are, showing up here, trying to evolve the relationship to the next phase. This person coming across as being very self-absorbed, maybe going to start love bombing you. Oh, Virgo, what? Oh, Virgo, what is the deal? What is the deal here? Um, listen, if you want to get a free Twin Flame ebook from me, just go over to my website, kellyannrose.com, and just put in your email, subscribe to my website, and you will get a free Twin Flame ebook right from um, in your, into your email, uh, delivered immediately to you. Okay. So, Virgo, okay. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. You've got the King of Swords, the Magician, and Strength. All right, so that's coming across as to me with this King of Swords as someone who's kind of cold, head over heart, strategic, calculating. Um, well, generally the King of Swords is kind of truthful, you know? I mean, but they lack some tact, <laughs> which is kind of odd for someone like that. If they're love bombing you, it's completely weird, you know, masculine or feminine energy because they don't like, that's not usually how they are. So, you know, trying to drop some magic spells on you here, Virgo, um, this, uh, they're giving me like subtle power. This person has some subtle power over you or tries to, and they've been playing the waiting game. They've been playing the long game. The waiting game here. Um, yeah, long long term. Their their goal is long term success with you, right? To get you in to their grips. I feel um, kind of energy. So this could be a Taurus or a Gemini. It could be a Libra, um, Aquarius. It could be a Leo. Try to like not focus too much on the sign if you know who this person is, but it looks like they're going to show up and start communicating with you. This person, <sighs> this person is an adventure pleasure seeker. That's what I, that's what I'm picking up here. Aquarius energy with the fool. So they have, they hold some kind of an authority. You know what I mean? Like it's it's maybe more along the lines of like dictating. They dictate to you. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. So, uh, and even with the fool, I just feel like they don't care. You know what I mean? Look at this butterfly here. This person, I feel like they're kind of gonna show up with this. Oh, I've changed. You know, I've healed. I've healed my inner child. I've had a lot of growth. But just, I don't know if you, you need to be careful. Because I feel like it's a one-sided kind of thing. It's them throwing their cares. They don't even care what you think about the fact that they're going to do that. Because they have like a goal here. What is this goal? What is this goal? What is the goal that this... this uh, air sign has oh try to take you away from someone try to take you away from a fire sign scorpio sagittarius hmm interfere they're trying to interfere okay show me more show virgo more 
What is this person doing? Like, what's the point? Bring you guys back into balance. They're trying to... So, yeah, look at this. Two balance cards. This person is... They're a juggler. You know, they're juggling. Right now, you're the target. That's what I feel like is going on here. And um, they're trying to bring you kind of like back into coming to harmony with you right like so that's like be together okay yes right but why um for some of you it's if you're seeing someone they want to try to interfere in that and put the focus back on them the emperor that there's that dictating kind of energy Ooh, and the three of swords so this person's they're coming across as someone who like they show up as like the emperor. That's Aries energy. They show up as someone who's like got it all. They're real disciplined. They have everything under control. They're again with the authoritative position. But this person also reaching out and reconnecting because they're striking out. I mean, wow. They're not doing so good. They got their heart broken. They're they're separated from someone they're in grief they're trying to um they're hurt maybe going through a divorce of some sort they're trying to get some feel good trying to get back up on top they want to they like it's almost like they want to be it's not so much about you specifically as it is about this person trying to reconcile with you so that they could be recognized okay they want they want mercy um so if this is obviously someone that you're connecting that you already know there's your message if you don't have anybody or you're just dating or you're, you're just keeping your options open um be careful of someone that's coming in here could be new who's you know with that three of swords it's always like i always say never go grocery shopping when you're hungry because you'll then you'll just eat anything you'll take anything and that's kind of like this person's energy that I feel is going on here like they're it's almost a sense of like oh my god I'm I'm famished I need to, I need to reset I need to restabilize and I'm gonna do that with Virgo because Virgo's gonna be nurturing and not judge have any judgment you know um, for some of you it's re they're seeking redemption forgiveness mercy if something ended Virgo's like no mercy All right, let me see let's take a look at you also, it could be a Scorpio, Pluto, rules, which would be Scorpio. Let's see, you. Look at you. You got your page of swords. You're, <laughs> Virgo, you're kind of like, don't you come near me. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> I'll slice and dice you. Yeah, Virgo, you got your guard up. Like, you're curious. Like, what are you doing? What is this person, like, you're looking at, like, what are you doing? What's your deal? questioning like why are you coming around here why are you like what are you doing yeah why are you trying to reconcile for some of you yeah that's a reconciliation for sure and why like so you're guarding yourself as well about i see you reconnecting in that kind of energy with anybody or someone from before trying to have your own growth you know trying to have your own evolvement in your life i don't know virgo i feel like you're cautious i feel like you're uh, you're showing here in the rest of this like next 30 days just being like i don't know ready to swing and any cutthroat energy difficult decision here you're in avoidance you're in avoidance mode right now from this type of energy okay whether that's avoiding the person in particular or you are avoiding that type of energy. You're blocking it. You got some people I feel like around you who are reminding you to block that energy. Hmm. Yeah, you have like the support of other people, friends. Just others, acquaintances, people in your life who are trying to maybe warn you or they're trying to lift you up and they're just kind of circling around you and they're saying, don't get any crazy ideas. Don't don't get yourself back into 
the hope with this type of energy you know don't get your expectations so far gone that you fall if this person doesn't show up the way you need them to like be careful of hope hope is like i don't know i think you got to be careful with hope because hope can leave you stuck trust your intuition they're telling you your friends your people your tribe trust your gut okay see something for what it is don't gaslight yourself don't um don't get confused and still we're doing that mercury retrogrades so you're gonna have people showing up trying to come back i know some of you already expressed that that's happening to you um i see it in your comments and i see it in the chat you know who you are keep your head on a swivel virgo keep yourself kind of like all right let me see don't fall for any okie doke yep boundaries virgo have your boundaries Ooh, two of cups just fell in the reverse this um this is self-love so this talks about self-love disharmony distrust breakups imbalance tension broken communication i don't know what that means for you but that might be if this is someone you dealt with before um that those might have been the things that were going on this person was um like loving themselves and not contributing to the relationship it was like one-sided you guys were not in alignment there was too much uh, distrust you broke up before um a lot there's an imbalance there it's a lot of tension um ghosting um lack of consistent communication not being in alignment i said that not being um on the same page wanting different things right and i feel like that might be a reason for you to put up your boundaries with this person some people are just coming in to get that self-esteem ego boost so be careful right remember who you are virgo you got the empress here the empress does not mess around with jokers jokers are strictly for entertainment only <laughs> for the empress you know the empress sits on the throne and it's like all right who's coming in to entertain me right now but joke empresses don't they don't even go with kings they don't go with knights they don't go with fools they don't match up they match up with the emperor and for some of you and i'm gonna say this some of you need to mirror back the energy of this person if you're gonna engage you do you you got to mirror it back <laughs> so you know if this person's coming in like being all thinking they're all hot to trot but having a little false bravado then you know if you're going to engage mirror it back don't because this person is really just a joker in disguise a fool in disguise okay so prepare prepare yourself for this virgo because they're coming in yeah definitely they're coming in with that let's see what's that phrase they're giving me here float like a butterfly sting like a bee <laughs> this is it muhammad ali float like a butterfly sting like a bee <laughs> prepare virgo prepare for this energy now who could this be i mean yeah could it be a romantic partnership sure could it be a friend an acquaintance a colleague a sibling a family member sure you know the thing is virgo people are always going to try you N people are always going to try and test you and that's just life okay the thing is you can't let anybody get you in a position of where you are unpredictable um or that you have a disregard for consequences or that you have no direction or you're, you're unfocused or you feel restless you cannot let your you got to plan right if you don't plan a, a way to deal with certain people um they're gonna get you, they're gonna get your goat they're gonna they're gonna find a way to trip you up right certain people not everybody you can't go like you can't go through life always being paranoid but when you're dealing with people like this they're opportunists okay and you got to be careful you just got to be careful plan how you're going to deal with this person um if you don't feel safe with someone anything else for virgo anything else for virgo okay 
yeah you gotta leave this person out in the cold at some point or just you know kind of kind of leave them in a poverty mindset like oh there's nothing you really can get here no the grocery store the shelves are empty sorry you'll have to go somewhere else <laughs> one more for virgo people can't so like my dad always used to say you can't get blood from a stone some of you need to gray rock somebody here yep so that they'll just put an end to it so they'll go away so it'll be just dead you know um but you'll find out as you go if this is somebody new and you're connecting with them and you find them just trying to drain your energy you you just gotta kind of stonewall somebody th that type of person you know because they're a never-ending pit the never-ending well they, they, it's like never satisfied right so i mean i'm just saying this because it's based on the golden mirror which does represent dealing with a narcissist self-absorbed yeah you got to be careful with this person and, or or if this is like people you got to be careful with these types of people yeah okay let's take a look and see what other messages are here for you oh man, i'm dropping stuff what else does virgo need to know show virgo give me all right what else does virgo need to know here flip it out yep trust your intuition virgo you already know the answer you seek trust your gut virgo do not ignore your gut your body will tell you before your mind your body will give you signs Okay, self-care, clear energy field, focus on yourself before acting. That's about planning. How are you going to deal with this? And release. There's an obstacle here. Uh, sometimes people like this, they can sense the energy of unhealed wounds within you. And these types of people prey on people who are insecure or who are... Um, who have weak spots they prey on the weak spots they don't prey on the strong spots because they can't really get through to them but they prey, prey on the weak spots so that when you're vulnerable with these types of people they take that and then they use it right so <clears throat> if you have unhealed wounds and things that are not fully closed you know that's why they always say when you have an open wound you put a band-aid on it because you got to protect it so if you have any unhealed wounds you got to protect those super super strongly so that no one can get in here to try to take advantage of you this type of people this type of person and i'm not you know what i mean i'm talking about this type of uh, these opportunist type of people and that's that's the specific topic here it's not it's not about you know you, you, if you're if you're in therapy you want to open up you want to be vulnerable so you can heal if you have someone that you trust and you know that they 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 only mean well for you and they they're not like this narky type of an energy and you can express yourself and express how you feel those types of people that you know you can trust it, then you it's okay to be vulnerable with certain people because you know they're not going to jab the knife in there but whoever this is no you can't be vulnerable with this type of person because as soon as you take that band-aid off and reveal your hurt and your pain they're gonna jump right on in there and eventually pour salt on the wound and then tell you that they're just trying to help you no that's bullshit yeah and you might feel very strong chemistry with this person and if you have a very tremendously strong chemistry that's that can be a red flag okay so you want to just pay attention to that i feel I can't wait until we're done with Narc Week. Seriously. <laughs> Yesterday was a little better. Sunday was pretty much all about, you know, taking up for yourself. But the whole Narc Week thing, it's its my version of Shark Week. Seriously. <laughs> Thank God tomorrow's Thursday. Or when you're listening to this, it may be Thursday. And we have the weekend. So um, we're going to close it out, hopefully. <laughs> and get into something really good okay you have transition this is the death card the end of suffering is upon you out with the old in with the new no one said it would be easy or has been this season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere allow it to happen and go with the flow it's now time for change part of your change virgo is just 
deflecting certain people and while you're doing that reflecting on yourself and that's the virgo card we do a scorpio virgo energy here go into your cave or go regroup over this weekend if you need to recollect a lot is going on you need some alone time stay in the stillness and the quiet but don't get lost there tell people you're taking a vacation or you know back off recharge don't get yourself in any kind of situation where you're going to be kind of feeling like you're losing your footing, you know. Uh, it just feels like with this type of a person, you want to keep to yourself. Anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to hear? Okay, you've got new plans that are going to evolve and a new passionate start. So that's good. So there's new... There's new a new beginning happening here for you that and something you are trying to manifest in your life be open to the new that's what i feel like um yes be open to new things in your life this isn't really about love so much here this is about making new plans chasing your dreams chasing your fire um, staying focused on the things you're trying to accomplish that you're trying to manifest in your life don't don't allow yourself to get tripped up and to drop your dreams and your goals, okay? Um, so if you've got plans and things, whatever you're trying to manifest uh, here in your life, whether that's in your career or creative endeavors, that kind of thing, um, do stay focused on that, okay? Because those things are going to come about for you. You also have receiving a sweet text message from someone. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And, okay. Right when I said that wasn't about love, there is a new love beginning. The struggle is over. New love comes in when you go no contact with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you need to put in that no contact or you need to re or put it back in again. Or if you meet somebody new and you feel like their energy is that narc kind of thing, then you need to go no contact with them. Um, especially if they come across as being noncommittal, um, you will have like a new. Uh, so, yeah, there is new love for sure and some of you are gonna have some money in the bank yep don't worry about finances money's coming to you money is coming to you you're gonna have that money in the bank maybe you'll get a um look wealth health and abundance yeah that's good so maybe you'll get your tax refund or maybe there's going to be a bonus somewhere or uh, somehow there's money coming in definitely i love that like let's focus on money yay <laughs> money and career and <clears throat> our wealth our health and all of our abundance you're on a good path i feel like you've been working hard you're on a good path you're doing the best you can keep going with that virgo a little pep talk here let's see who this person is coming in that has this china has a chinese sign the rooster shows up all the time my gosh you know all right year of the rooster year of the ox year of the dragon year of the rabbit year of the dog there's rooster again, year of the tiger, year of the snake, the snake again, and year of the goat. Okay. Is there any? I'm just going to pull one more random one for you guys. One more random, please. All right. They keep saying monkey, year of the monkey. Okay. So. Virgo. Interesting. Let's get some initials. You got an arc showing back up. So pay attention. Cancer showing up here. Leo, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. All right, Virgo. Someone is 30. We have 1979, 1983. Someone's 42. Someone's 34. 1971, August 31st, September 11th, September 2nd, 1991, November, someone's born in November, all right, someone's 55, someone's 47, September 22nd, someone's born in October, 1963, or born, or is 63, okay, Oi, oi. I'm just hearing. Oi, oi. Wee, oui, wee. Oui. 
Maybe someone's from France or French. Um, okay. Someone, all right. They're just telling me King Tut. <laughs> King Tut. Yo, Tutankhamun. Um, connection there to Egypt or the pyramids. H, letter H, the letter A. Someone's in AA. The letter E. Someone's 52. We also have September 11th. Okay. Someone's in Utah. I just heard. And someone has a really nice butt. Or they like, someone likes someone's butt. <laughs> someone's in England. Lives in England or comes from England. The UK. Um, I just heard the song Love Shack from the B-52s. I just heard Love Shack, baby love. Remember that? <laughs> it's an old one. Did I say 1991? I'm also picking up um, September 16th. Somebody's birthday could be September 16th. Okay. Couple of charms for Virgo. Oh, you got the peace sign. I think it's a peace sign. Yeah, I guess it's a peace sign. Yeah, I just, I heard a phrase the other day. I'm not bored. I'm just at peace. All right. Electric guitar. Someone plays the electric guitar as well. Anything else for Virgo here? All right. Lollipop. <laughs> A taffy. Okay. Uh, I just heard someone's quitting smoking and they're eating a lot of lollipops or hard candies to kind of stave off the craving for sure. And we also have cherries. You have cherries. Okay. There's a connection to cherries. You're eat, eating cherries. You like cherries. Someone's name is Cherry. Um, some kind of connection to cherries. Cherry blossoms. Yes, for sure. For sure. Let me get one more. What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, what fell out here? Oh, okay. Oh, I just heard a... a so you got two dolphins. So there's a song they're giving me now. I just heard... Um, Oh, it's from a band from the 90s called Live, L-I-V-E. And the song is called When Dolphins Cry. I think that's it. When Dolphins Cry. Does anybody remember that? Let me see. Why, do, why is that coming up here? The way you're bathed in light reminds me of that night. God laid me down into your rose garden of trust and I was swept away. With nothing left to say, some helpless fool, yeah, I was lost in a swoon of peace. You're all I need to find. So when the time is right, come to me sweetly, come to me, come to me. Love will lead us all right. Can you hear the dolphins cry? Yo, that's intense. I mean, that song, I remember it. And it was it's a very intense, powerful song. But I don't know if anybody likes that that group or like that group or that song is specific to somebody here um if you haven't heard it go listen to it if you really like that type of music um oh yeah we meet again it's like we never left time in between was just a dream did we leave this place this crazy fog surrounds me you wrap your legs around me and all i can do to try and breathe what the what the <laughs> Life is like a shooting star. It don't matter who you are. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. That song is being very profound right now. Um, I actually have not heard that song since I was like 22, 23, whenever that came out. So um, maybe I'll go listen to it myself. But it is definitely significant for someone here. So if that resonates for you, you might understand this reading. You might really understand this reading. All right. So what I'm going to do is leave it here. How about that? How about you catch me outside? How about that? Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. I know that these readings have been a little short and sweet. I am going to go work on your weekend reading for Thursday evening. Um, so don't forget, go over to my website, kellyannrose.com. The link is in the description box. Just go to my link tree. And that shows you all the links where you can book readings. You can get a free uh, Twin Flame ebook from me. Oh, time to go. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book 
subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.